Hi there, in this video, we are going to talk about the sliding window attention layer and its role in addressing the inefficiencies of the original attention mechanism. This video assumes that you are already familiar with how the transformer attention mechanism works. But if you aren't, make sure to check my video on self-attention first before continuing watching this one. So, coming back, what problem does the sliding window attention solve? To put it simply, the original attention mechanism has a time complexity of O n squared, where n is the length of the input sequence. This means that as the input sequence gets longer, the computational cost of attending to all tokens in the sequence increases quadratically, especially in tasks in natural language processing where sequences can be quite lengthy. The sliding window attention is a simple yet effective solution to this problem and allowing each token to attend only to the tokens within its window. Then, as you go deeper into the network, the same mechanism applies, but the tokens you are now attending to also attended to their own in the previous layer, resulting in a wider view in the deeper layers. For instance, in this image depicted here, the first layer can attend to only three input tokens, which is the window size, but the second layer can attend to five input tokens given that the tokens produced by the first layer can attend to three tokens in the same layer, which is the window size, and each token here previously attended to three input tokens. Pretty cool, right? This reduces the time complexity to OWN, where W is the window size, which is a significant improvement over the original attention mechanism. However, this approach has a limitation. If our window size is small and the input sequence is long, then we need many layers so that the final layer can have a full view of the input. To address this, the long former introduces the dilated sliding window attention. This mechanism uses a sliding window, but, same as in dilated convolutions, the tokens can attend to the other tokens in the same layer, but with a certain step size. What does that mean? Well, for instance here, if we set the dilation or the step size to 2 and the window size to 3, then we can see in the first layer that the tokens don't attend to their neighboring tokens, but to the one next to them, and the same happens in the second layer. However, if we look at the contest window of the second layer on the input tokens, we can see that it's much wider in this case, compared to the previous case without dilation. Finally, the long former paper also introduces the global plus sliding window attention, which is a hybrid approach that combines the strengths of both the sliding window and the full attention mechanism. It uses a sliding window for most tokens, but allows a few tokens, typically the special tokens like the CLS or SEP, to attend to all tokens in the sequence. This allows for long range dependencies to be captured by those special tokens, which are necessary usually for fine tuning the model on tasks like classification or question answering, and thus reduces the performance loss compared to vanilla self-attention mechanism, while still providing a reasonable low computational cost of Wn plus Kn, where K is the number of tokens that can attend to the whole sequence. And that's basically how the sliding attention works and what are its variations, as introduced in the long former paper. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this explanation and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the content I create on this channel. See you next time. Bye bye.